Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Speakwell, and we're back with what if Kobe was drafted in today's NBA part number three. If you guys are new to the series, what we did is we took Kobe Bryant from his rookie season before he even got in the NBA, and we took that player and drafted him in the upcoming 2019 NBA draft, and then we continued to simulate his career if he was actually drafted today. Uh, so there's already been two parts before this. If you missed out on those, definitely go check those out. There's some cool stuff in this, but we're on part number three and you may notice Kobe is a lot older here he's age 31 and the reason I switched to when he was 31 is because he hasn't been doing too well in today's NBA and this was the final season that he actually won an NBA championship when he was 31 he won his second back-to-back -back with the Lakers uh, of course after uh, the ones he had with Shaq earlier on in his career uh, so we're at this point in his career right now and we're just gonna kind of compare him in game how he's doing in today's NBA to in real life and the NBA is just a lot different right now uh, but let's check out Kobe real quick here uh, so if we go over to his player stats his career stats we can check these out uh, very quickly first so I believe the last year we did do with him was a 2025 20, 2026 20, season uh, and that was kind of his, his last really good year in these simulations uh, but into 2027 i'm gonna put all of his stats up on screen right now as well uh, so in terms of looking at this season in terms of scoring it was actually very similar to real life uh, just 0.3 points off of scoring rebounds are also going to be really really similar the thing that's always higher in these simulations are his assists of course he wasn't known for passing it in real life, uh, but he turned that around in game. Steals around the same, blocks around the same. Uh, but we can kind of go through everything kind of quick right here. The next season, uh, we'll, we'll kind of look at, at scoring the most. But his next season, 23.1 points per game. He went downhill in real life. He had 27.6. Moving on to his next season, 20 only 20.3 points per game in game but in real life he was actually scoring champ this season scoring 35.4 points per game uh, again next season rebounds steals blocks those are all around the same assists are the only thing that are actually higher points per game have just dropped so much from real life 31.6 to 23.2 uh, 28.3 to 21 uh, we got 26.8, that's down to 21.4. And then in his season, his last season where he won an NBA championship, 27 points in game, he only had 22. Uh, so just looking at stats, not as good of a score. He's not putting up as many points, but the thing that is interesting is how well he's shooting. He shot nowhere near this good. I mean, he's a 40, 50% shooter. Uh, where, where in real life, he in field goal percentage, he was 45 uh, and, and three-point percentage. He didn't even get up into the 40%. So he is shooting at an absolutely ridiculous rate in game right here. He's just not putting up as many shots. And of course, that can do be because of the Cavs coach. Maybe he's not too good. Maybe the teammates are a little different. Uh, and, and maybe 2K just isn't allowing him to score as much. His career could have gone way different if it were in today's NBA. But the other thing I also wanted to check out are his career awards. So of course, in our first episode, he or second episode, I believe, he won MVP, he won an NBA championship. Uh, in real life, he won five NBA championships at this point in his career. He was a two-time NBA Finals MVP. Uh, he did, I believe he did win Finals MVP. All-Star Games, he's been making that every single year though, since 2024, which is really impressive. In real life, he was an, an 18-time NBA All-Star. Of course, he has a few more seasons to go here, so he can still get a few more. He has 10 in-game, uh, which isn't too impressive. He didn't get it earlier in his career. First team All-NBA, he only has two. In real life, I believe he had eight at this point in his career in real life, so definitely not as good there. Uh, he's made the All-NBA second team five times, where in real life he made it twice, and then two times, uh, or three times on the third team in-game. In real life, he made that twice at this point in his career. Uh, so no defensive team awards or anything else like that. Defensive team, he actually made that nine-time NBA All-Defensive team, and the second team he made it three times uh we're not as far we could take off 
two of those because uh, we're not that far in his career uh, in terms of real life. Uh, so defensively, not looking nearly as good. We can check out his stats here. It has been quite a while since we did any of the attributes. His attributes up close are insane. He's a 97 overall. Uh, all 99 up close. His three-pointer is insane, a 94. Uh, but if we go down here, uh, his dunking is insane. I don't know if he won any dunk contests. I'm not sure if there is a way to actually find out. But as you can see, uh, his defensive stats, not the best. On-ball defense, I mean, 89 He's still getting as many steals and blocks, so it's weird that he didn't make as many defensive teams right here, but just not showing up at all. Uh, contract, he has until 2034. I believe it's 2032. Uh, he's been on the, the Cavs for his whole career. Game highs, though. This is very, very interesting. So in his career, it still says 81. Now, I don't know if he beat that or if there's a glitch uh, with actually how this went down because 81 was his real life career high so let's actually go over to this it would be insane if he actually tied that in game here okay so it does look like it's a glitch in terms of his points per game which is really annoying because this isn't even the same player we literally took a new kobe and it's it, it, he did not beat his career high of 81 uh, that is actually just going to be a glitch I don't know if he pulled out any other crazy games like that, which is kind of, I wish they didn't use the same Kobe. I mean, we're using a different, it's kind of weird how that, that whole thing turned out, that they actually took his career high, even though this is completely different, because these are probably his records in real life and not in game here. But we're at age 31, the Cavs are gonna be the fourth seed in the playoffs, so we're just gonna simulate this, see if maybe they can win another season right here. The teams in 2K, they'll get ridiculous at this point in in the career because everybody is over 90s, even the six men. Look at, like, check this out. The six men on the Cavs is an 80. Okay, I think we had somebody higher earlier. He's an 83 overall. Uh, I think earlier we had somebody higher. Kobe, well, let's see if the Cavs can beat the Atlanta Hawks right there. They are all tied up 2-2. Two to two. Cavs get a nice 3-2 lead. Let's see if they can win it all right here. Uh, we're looking for the Hawks being eliminated. The Hawks get another game. It is game number 7. Hawks at Cavaliers. Let's see what goes on in this game. See if the Cavs and Kobe can actually win this one. A pretty close game. Looks like the Hawks starting to take over a little. Not looking too good for Kobe. He might be eliminated right here. Getting closer. Getting really close actually at the end. Hawks starting to take over. And I think the Hawks are going to win this one. Yes, they do. So the Cavs get eliminated in the first round. Pretty much from last season. I believe it's 2026 to this season. Cavs have been eliminated in the first round. And uh, Kobe hasn't really done any better than he did in real life. He's not making the All-NBA first teams. He's not making it in the playoffs. Um, he, he's not getting any He's not getting on the defensive team. I don't think he won any slam dunk contests. We'll check that out real quick Yeah, so unfortunately you can't check out some of the dunk contest stuff uh, Let me know if you actually can and I'm just missing it We're gonna simulate to the rest of Kobe's career and see exactly what goes on here See if he can win another championship or see if maybe he can do a little better in the the end of his career uh, but so far, not doing as good, of course. He's not going to have as many points, career points. We'll check that out all out at the end of the career and also see if he makes Hall of Fame. Okay, so we've done a few more seasons and the Cavs actually did very, very good this season. They went 60 and 22. We don't see Kobe on the first team. Uh, let's see if he's on the second team. He is on the second team. His teammate, Patrick Baldwin Jr. on the third team. But the Cavs are going to have the first seed in the East. Uh, I want to check out Kobe still this season did not do very well in terms of stats. So we're just going to hop into the playoffs. Let's see if the Cavs can win this season. Give Kobe another NBA championship. They're up against the eight-seeded Pistons in the first round. Nice 2-0 lead. Nice 3-0 lead. Can this be an easy sweep for them in the first round? And it is a 4-0 sweep in the first round. They got a tough competition coming up in the second round, though, if the Knicks win. Because the Knicks have Zion Williamson, and he's been doing fantastic throughout his season, throughout his career. 
and Kobe and the Cavs going to take a 2-0 lead. 3-0 lead. Is it going to be another sweep? And it is two 4-0 sweeps for the Cavs in a row. They are destroying the season. And they're going to be up against the second-seeded Hawks in the Eastern Conference Finals. The, the Hawks get a game. Cavs finally lose. Now they tie it up 2-1 for the Cavs. Can they get a 3-1 lead? No, the Hawks tie it up again. And the Hawks take a 3-2 lead. And the Hawks in game number six get a 20-point victory. They're going to defeat Kobe the Cavs. Who do the Hawks even have on their team as their star player? Uh, okay, they got Gilgis Alexander. And I'm not really familiar with the rest of these guys here. Uh, Bull Bull, you know him as well. But other than that, I'm not familiar with a lot of these players. Why is everybody a 90? Literally everybody on every team it's a 90. I don't get some of these simulations. They just make everybody way too good. So we're now with Kobe when he's 36 years old. And he actually gets six man of the year this year. So he's actually been moved from the starting lineup to the bench as he's getting older here. I'm expecting him to retire in a few years. I don't think the Cavs are going to win here either. They're the fourth seed. So I guess we can find out how good they do. But I'm not expecting them to make it far in the playoffs at all. They're up against the Hawks in the first round. They are all tied up. Okay, they take a lead. 3-2 lead. And are they going to move on? Let's find out. And yes, they do move on to the second round. So we might as well keep going with this. See if they can upset the first-seeded Knicks. They are the fourth seed right here in the 2038 season. Kobe, 36 years old, as I said earlier. There we go, Cavs pull a game. They tie it up 2-2. If they can get a lead here, that would be huge for them. And they do get a lead. Eastern Conference Finals. Let's see if it happens. All tied up 3-3. Three, three. And they're going to move on to the Eastern Conference Finals. I was not expecting this. I thought the Cavs were going to go out early. The sixth man on the team. He's still the third highest overall player. I don't know who is actually ahead of him in the lineup. That doesn't... Doesn't make much sense. He got, okay, Kyrie Walker. I uh, actually did not know he was on the team. He's actually starting ahead of him. I don't know, maybe put Kobe up there. Kobe's still getting more minutes, but the six man, interesting. So they just have him coming off the bench uh, despite him being the better player. Uh, but it's working out for them. They got a nice 2-0 lead against the Bulls in the Eastern Conference Finals, a 3-0 lead. And okay. The Bulls do get a game, and there we go. The Cavs are in the NBA Finals when Kobe's 36 years old up against the Pelicans. Pelicans take game one. Pelicans take game two. There we go, 2-1 now. Cavs, if they could at least get another game here. There we go, 3-2. And the Pelicans, unfortunately, going to win it here. They got a 99 overall player, though. They were so close to winning. I'm going to do a few, uh, the last few seasons of Kobe's career, and then we'll go over his stats and find out if he, if he wins, if he gets into the Hall of Fame. Okay, so we're now in possibly Kobe Bryant's last season. If we go over to the roster right here, Kobe is not doing too well at all. He's down to a 76 overall. I don't even think he's really getting any more minutes in, in game. Or, or Okay. Well, I spoke completely wrong. He's actually starting this season as a 76 overall. I believe this might be his last season, but they're actually in the Eastern Conference Finals yet again. And I don't want to jinx them winning this or anything, but they're up 2-1 right now. Let's see if they can actually win this 3-1. Can they go to the NBA Finals? And they do. Kobe and the Cavs in the NBA Finals. Kobe's not the best player anymore, though. Cavs take a 1-0 lead. Cavs take a 2-0 lead. Cavs take a 3-0 lead. And will they win it right here? They do. The Cleveland Cavaliers finally win a number, another championship with Kobe Bryant. Kobe, of course, was a star player. It's actually going to be Patrick Baldwin Jr. Uh, he's actually 38 years old, 87 overall. He gets finals MVP. Uh, but there we go, Kobe. Possibly this, I mean, this might be his last season. What is he? He is 39 years old right now. In real life, he played till he was 37. Let's see if he retires, and he does right here. Retiring at the age of 39. The year's pro is a little messed up. 
He did not play for 23 years. Uh, I think it's like 20 or 20. It was 20 years he played for. He started at 19. Uh, but Kobe Bryant going to retire right here. He probably won't be in the Hall of Fame this year. Okay, yeah, he does. Uh, Hall of Fame inductees. Does this mean he is in the Hall of Fame now? If I'm correct, Kobe Bryant going to make the Hall of Fame in the year 2041. Uh, so he does. These are his career averages. He played 1,804 games, 20.8 points per game, 4.8 rebounds, 5.9 assists, 1.4 steals, and 0.9 blocks per game throughout his entire career. Uh, when we compare this to real life, a little lower than real life. He scored four, around 4.2 uh, points per game more than in here. But if we go over to his assists, this is where things are a lot higher. He did get a lot more assists in game. Rebounds are gonna be around the same blocks per game, uh, a little higher in game, and then his steals are exactly the same as in real life. So congrats to Kobe. He still makes the Hall of Fame in game here, uh, but we wanna check out one more thing. He won't be on the roster anymore, will he? Player retirements, Kobe. Okay, here we go. We gotta get over his player card here. So let's go over to all of his award history. So of course he got that one MVP, uh, so it's the same as real life. NBA champion, he ends up winning it twice in game, where in real life he won it five times. And in real life he was an 18 time all-star, where in, ga in game he was only a 14 time all-star. He didn't make it his last few seasons, as well as his first few. He didn't make the first team all-NBA as many times. In real life he made it 11 times, only three times in game. But he made the second and third team more, just because he wasn't on that first team. He made the defensive team once in game. In real life, he made the the first defensive team nine times and the second team three times. In game, he only made the the second team all defense once. Six man, he got once in game. He never won that in real life. Uh, as he got older, he kind of got into that there. And now let's actually check out his career stats. So I'm going to compare to on screen. Now, he didn't play when he was this old in real life. 39-38, these top two seasons uh, were not played in real life. He actually didn't play this far into his career. But when he was 37, uh, he did a lot worse than in real life. Uh, in real life, he had 17.6 points per game, only 12.9 here. He Again, he shot better. You can kind of just check out everything. Uh, that you want to look up points per game when he was 36 again it was lower when he when he was 35 he did get more points per game but in real life he was injured this season he only played six games and uh yeah so in in total comparing kobe to real life he did not do nearly as good he was still a hall of famer fame player still brought the Cavs one championship the second one wasn't really him uh, but he didn't bring any of the Cavs any more championships than that. One champ, two championships for him, as well as an MVP. Uh, but of course, he's still a Hall of Fame player. No matter what era, kind of, if he played today, he's still a Hall of Fame player. That doesn't change at, as, at all. The thing that does change is his scoring, which is what he's most known for, of how, how easily he could score in NBA games. Now, he did shoot better in-game. One other thing I actually did forget to check is Kobe's jersey also got retired in game so nobody else can wear the number six for the Cleveland Cavaliers anymore uh, thanks to Kobe Bryant uh, so in game still a great career he's still known uh, still gets his jersey retired in real life of uh, course by the Lakers number eight and 24 were retired for the Lakers uh, we just kind of recapped it right there but if you do enjoy these types of videos and you want to see other players we're working on Shaq and Michael Jordan right now, but if you want to see anybody else, maybe some players all the way back from the 60s if they were to play today, that would be very interesting. This is going to be it for this video. Again, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. This has been your boy Speakle, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Never in the same space that we started at. Throw the ball, I run the play like a quarterback. I've been up all night trying to make a stat. Trying to get a black and flip a dream into a solid fact. Uh, hustled hard for it. One day they will notice. Chasing in the day, then we're.